I'm a fan of Wes Anderson, but I'm not a fan of all of his movies. I think Rushmore is brilliant, Life Aquatic is really good, I like Darjeeling Limited, didn't care for the Royal Tenenbaums, and the Grand Budapest Hotel isn't really a favorite of mine. But I respect him as an artist and a filmmaker. His movies just ooze style and fresh ideas. He's easily one of the most creative filmmakers working today. And that's gotta count for something. But the thing is, I'm not a huge fan of stop motion. I'm not sure exactly why, but I think it's because it looks kinda stiff and the puppets aren't usually that expressive. I actually hadn't seen Fantastic Mr. Fox until yesterday, but I felt like I kinda had to watch it before this one. You know, since they're both stop motion Wes Anderson movies, and it was the only movie of his I hadn't seen since Rushmore. And you know what? I kinda liked it a lot, actually. It's a really fun movie, which put me in a good mood for this one. It's set in Japan, and there's this sort of dog dystopia going on. The premise is basically that all dogs are banished to the Isle of Dogs, aka Trash Island. I don't know about you, but, but it's not a concept I've seen before. But one of the first things I really noticed was the sound design. Usually not something I pay that much attention to, but everything just sounded so full and crisp. And most of the score is made up of these drums that bang along. It gives this movie a really kind of interesting rhythm. And the production design overall is immaculate. The level of detail in the sets is just incredible. And framing is impeccable. This thing just looks gorgeous. But that's pretty much all expected from a Wes Anderson movie at this point. This guy really toes the line of style over substance, without really ever stepping over it, because there's always substance to his movies, always. But the style can be a bit much sometimes. Anyway, the story itself is kind of difficult to talk about without giving anything away, because it's pretty straightforward. I mean, there's layers to it, because it's a Wes Anderson movie, but at its core it's not really that complex. It's a kind of difficult movie to summarize, because there's a lot of different things going on, but I guess it boils down to a boy looking for his missing dog. That's the real core of the story. But as I said, there's layers to it, and the writing is great. I mean, so many brilliant little lines, the usual Wes Anderson stuff. But it's not as fun or funny as Fantastic Mr. Fox. And it's not really as out there as some of his other movies. If you really break it down and ignore the style and quirk, it's actually one of the more traditional narratives of any recent Wes Anderson movie. But at the same time, this movie kinda suffered from the same issues I had with the Grand Budapest Hotel. Everything is so perfectly orchestrated and not a single frame is wasted. And it has this perfectly timed rhythm where everything goes along just boom, 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 like an assembly line. And that combined with the deadpan delivery of all the characters means there's not much breathing room. It doesn't linger on any shot and never lets you catch your breath. It's just constantly moving, which means it doesn't really leave any room to think about or take in what just happened. It doesn't let you simmer in any one emotion for more than two seconds. It does something sweet that should make you feel something for the characters, but then it's already moved on to the next thing. He crafts these compelling emotional stories, but it's almost like he's afraid to let you really appreciate it. It's as if he wants you to feel something, but is then afraid to actually let you feel it. And I was having some real trouble getting emotionally invested in this thing. All the ingredients are there, but it just wouldn't slow down long enough for me to have time to actually feel anything. Now, I've heard people say they cried, and I can see why. Because I cry at movies, and all the ingredients are there. But I need a bit more breathing room to get to that place. You gotta let me take it all in. You gotta slow down a little. But this movie doesn't. Not even in the end. It's just boom, 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 roll credits. And it's a bit of a shame, because it's a really well-crafted movie. And had I been able to get more emotionally involved, it would have easily been one of the very best movies of the year. But unfortunately, it ended up being just a good movie. And I do appreciate the care and the thought that went into making it. It's really well made. Would I recommend it? Absolutely. Go watch it. Or don't. But I really think you should. However, I'm still not your dad.